Hello there, everybody. My name's Gordon Notice, and this is Starbound. Ah, uh, as I promised last time, today I'm going to be making something for myself. That something will be a mysterious book. Let's go at it. A mystical book that seems to emanate power. Perhaps it can be used somehow. Oh. Behold. Use it to strengthen your character. I'm level 8. I've collected 7,695 experience and I need 40 to level up. Classic mode is uh, no class, no affinity. Rally mode, and enemies become stronger as you level up. Multiple players using rally mode strengthens the effect. Um, okay, so I have here stats, I have classes. This is soldier, rogue, explorer, okay, yeah. Uh, specialization, locked until level 10, 25. Skill tab currently unavailable. Oh, keep an eye for upgrade chips, which can drop from monsters or be purchased using mastery via the mastery shop. When you use an upgrade chip like a consumable, it will be equipped here. You can use this tab to read exact details as well as an equip upgrade chips. Okay, what's that? That's mastery tab is level 50. Uh, multipliers, hazards, immunity, heat true, but false because I don't actually have it. Um, lore tab. Mechanics. Guardians now use their own protection functions to prevent players from instantly breaking shields with regular attacks. Particle emission. Da, 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 stat reset scroll. Okay, so... Uh, wonderful. I can just start beefing up my stuff. Um... What 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 happens here? It slightly increases one-handed weapon damage. Doesn't stack with strength. Slightly slightly decreases fall damage. All right. Increases range weapon damage, bleed chance, and bleed length. All right. Interesting. Uh, significantly increases armor. Increases knockback resistance. Moderately increases all resistances. Greatly increases staff damage. Minimally increases energy recharge rate. Increases experience orb gain. Cross party. Slightly increases wound damage. Um, vigor. It greatly increases maximum energy. Gre increases energy recharge rate. Decreases energy recharge delay. Nice. Greatly increases max health. Decreases hunger rate. Uh, significantly decreases, decreases fall damage. Greatly increases swim speed. Increases movement speed. Slightly increases jump height. Okay, strength greatly increases shield health. Okay, significantly increases two-handed melee damage. Yeah, slightly increases one-handed melee weapon damage. Minimally increases armor. Um, I must choose a class before I can raise stats. All right. And what was the intelligence bonus here? Classic mode penalty lowered to minus fifty for staffs, and lowered to minus twenty-five percent for mono-wielded wands. Alright, what, what are the classes? Okay, Knight, melee tank, does better with two-handed melee weapons, but still does great with sword and shield. The knight skills mostly improve defensive capabilities, though all have the offensive measures as well. Wizard, Ninja, Explorer. Evasive utility does better with tools like pickaxes, flashlights, and or the matter manipulator. The explorer skills mostly improve movement and mining. The explorer glows while health is greater than half, and is slightly more resistant to physical damage. I think I'm gonna get explorer because I wanna... Do that. Boop. Yay! Passive bonus. 10% physical resistance, 115% max health and energy. Alright. Uh, skills. Glide. An upgrade to double jump. Hold W to glide forward, slowly losing altitude. You can use your double jump while gliding. Glide energy. Cost decreases with higher agility. Okay. Enhanced dash. Uh, drill sphere, transform into a fast spike sphere that can jump. Press F to drill down at incredible speed, uh, draining your energy. You can drill whether or not you are transformed. Aim upgrade, an upgrade to glide. Okay, 
Stat scaling is great. Vitality is good. Uh, agility is okay. Alright. Well, health is greater than half. Provide a bright yellow glow. Wonderful. And so I can start uh, beefing up my stuff. I'll start beefing up my intelligence. So I get more um, experience orbs. Alright, now, now I just naturally glow because I am a dude, I guess. I'm a dude. <laughs> ah, I have. I think you, ladies and gentlemen, remember something. Weapon testing site. This time, Dr. Rakage, this time I will complete this test and I will ace it. Uh, in part because I upgraded my weapon. The Zwei Hander is now a level 4 weapon. <laughs> 208 damage. Mm, no biggie, don't worry about it. Ah, look at that. Some diodia. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I like the fact that I now have a glow. Okay, shock hopper! Oh, that hit me. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I, what is, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I can actually just spam the block and be invulnerable to any and all damage. Oh, I caught fire! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! I died. Ah, poop. Okay. That was unexpected. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. You have uh, forced my hand. I will now grab some of my solves, like uh, half of them, and I will put them down here. Be ready uh, for uh, Freddy, I guess. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go. Weapon testing site. I will beat you and your mother. That might sound wrong, but it is not very wrong in this uh, situation because uh, I need to beat uh, the shock hopper and I need to beat Doctor Akagi. I guess I'm getting diodes. Which is a nice thing. No, 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 get me out of here. I've been set on fire! Ooh! Ah, you're weakened! Oh, no, 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 get me out of here! I've been set on fire yet again! Okay. Oh, he might actually kill me dead. No! Ah! I made a mistake here. A very big mistake. Instead of swapping to three, I decided, hey! I'm gonna open my inventory and I'm gonna do it the slow way. Ah. Ah, the fool that I am. Hmm. I was that close. 
Well, this is the first challenging boss, in all honesty, so... Let's uh, congratulate them on that, I guess. I mean, it's only challenging because it's super overstated and has intense amounts of armor. Whilst my intense amounts of armor don't really do anything. Are they doing anything? Nah. He's going into overdrive! Is he? I don't know. He's burning me! The fiend! Ah! Oh, I've beaten him! Thank you for helping me test my mech, friendo! I'll see you back on my workshop! Hey, Shockhopper M Mech MK1 and some experience. Skra. Oh, Alright, a new fantastic offer. Have you ever wanted to combine the hydraulic fist of the Pugno Punchomatic, the ball lightning production capabilities of the Stormatron 5000, and the firepower of the Theta 8 ground to air missile launcher? Well, now you can, with Dr. Akagi's Shockhopper MK1. Other amazing features include dash thrusters capable of speed and flight, a wide fire broad barreled flamethrower, ergonomic controls for easy flipper use. Get yours today. Ah, uh. a very retro-looking flying saucer in an empty large wooden crate. Oh, whoa. sad. Oh, let's go to the outpost. Oh gosh, Doctor Akagi. I'm very disappointed by, uh, this. <laughs> Whatever that was, honestly. Now let's go and, uh, see Dr. Akagi. Ooh, what is that? This looks like a perfectly respectable establishment. Oh, I can buy a new chakram with uh, a chakram and, a sti and 15 sticks of ram. Or I can get a stun glove, which is made from a gauntlet and uh, 15 stack static cells. I'll think about it. Thank you for the offer. I don't think I want to do that, though. Dr. Akagi! Wait. What? Oh, it wasn't completed! I had it in my console, but I didn't have the quest because I had quit it. I had abandoned it, not quit it. Oh well, I, I guess it's gonna have to happen again. Well, I did it once, I'm gonna do it a, a second time. It isn't really that hard. Not when I have these wonderful weapons. Okay, the flamethrower is the nastiest of them.
Get me out of here. Okay, it's getting busted up. Okay, it's been busted. Ah, uh -huh. more experience and uh, another one of these shock hopper mech M M M1. Any loot this time? Nope, none. I just gotta learn the patterns. It's just like Dark Souls. Let's drop out the Dark Souls of Terraria. Wow. Nah, it's not. It's not. Let's let's not let's not fool ourselves. Okay, Doctor Rakagi. Thanks for the intense testing session, friendo. It gave me a lot of useful data. I've also sent out a shipment to my weapon distributor. His stall should be open right here on the outpost already. Oh, nice. Um, I have a design for a new mech body that fits you. That's gonna happen some other time, ladies and gentlemen. Some other time. Some other time. Some other time. Some time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope I get to see you next time, when I will probably be doing this advanced make course. Farewell!